Hey, this is my first video on the Radical RS8 RX model. It's a V8 version of the much more popular RS3, which is based on the Suzuki 1340cc four-cylinder motorcycle engine. And this is two of those engines sandwiched together with a custom block and a quaif um, six-speed transmission. So basically twice as much power. I've got this thing stripped down as you can see. Um, so I took delivery of the car and I'm in the process of just sort of going through it and making sure I understand it and making a few changes here and there just so I make it mine. Um, it's got the exhaust system pulled off. It's got the coolant and oiling system semi-dismantled just so I can get access to everything. I'm in the process of polishing the exhaust and all that so you can actually see a lot more because I've got the whole thing stripped down and you normally wouldn't be able to see that so there's the uh, there's eight individual throttle bodies and if I pull off this cover here you'll see there's a total of eight um, eight trumpets there and uh, that uh, as a thing of beauty. Um, so, uh, what can I say about it? Um, it's got mechanically, it's very simple, you know, complete manual steering rack. Um, uh, it's got in tracks uh, dampers, uh, three way adjustable dampers, and um, what's called a, a nick bar, which is sort of the um, sort of a racing version or a foreigner version of the sway bar. That's the one that runs across the top, front and rear. That's an FIA crush box. Um, pedals are manually adjustable, so you can move them back and forth and get them the way you want them. And then there's a balance bar for front rear brake bias, and then there's a manual green knob on the far end over there is, is the uh, manual adjust to front rear for brake bias. From a computer perspective, it runs a life ECU, and then it has this AIM uh, monochrome digital dash. This is the uh, earlier model, the MXL1. Um, I'm thinking of actually going to the Formula 3 AIM wheel and just trying to work out the compatibility issues just so I've got sort of easier access to some of the diagnostics information. Um, there's a Smarty Cam system, HD Smarty Cam system that, uh, and a GPS that uh, gives you access to um, yeah, like it plots with the, the, the lap so you it predicts lap times based on how you're doing throughout each corner and uh, so I'm going to look at that software I'm into software so I'm going to look at that and uh, probably upgrade it um, there's air jacks in the car and yeah, that's what those things are there and with about 350 psi of pressure you will push the the um, car up off the ground and then if you want to do maintenance on this and I haven't got it here yet there's a crane grabs the, the car from above and lifts it and then you roll the stainless steel table on underneath it and uh, drop it onto the table and then you can roll it around so it's a little little awkward to work on um, you know there's almost no jack points um, this is classic formula car style so anyway that's video number one um, as I go through I've, the panels, uh, they're black gel coated panels. I'm um, getting rid of any of the spider cracking around the mounting quick mount release points and um, filling those with epoxy, like, you know, drumbling them out and then filling them with epoxy. And then I'm going and doing um, a white epoxy. And then I'm gonna put the new, um, new wrapping colors on the car. Um, so I'll make everything really pretty. And then I'll um, put the car together over the next couple of months and then eventually get it on the track. But I want to show you guys as this project goes on, people can see how this thing's put together and then how, how it actually works on the track. Okay.